All right, so let's be honest. This is about my 17th video that I've shot this evening. And I'm really just trying to prove one single point. Structural engineers in Oklahoma will not sign off on concrete piers. There's a reason that they won't sign off on concrete piers. They don't care that they're $150 cheaper. They don't care that they're $80 cheaper, okay? The reason that, that structural engineers will not sign off on concrete piers is because steel piers, as you can see behind me, this one is 16 feet long, okay? From start to finish, it's 16 feet. Now there's more to that pier than what you can see, but that's, that's our business. So the customer that we installed today had a total of 25 piers. The average depth was 16 feet, hence the 16 feet long pier. And the closest bid that she got to us was another company that was going to install concrete piers. Now, that company that installs concrete piers uses these cylinders, okay? We have them. We've used them. We know what they're good for. We know what they're not good for, okay? So, during the process of installing Ms. Foster's piers in Ardmore, Oklahoma, we pressed 16 feet average at 17,000 pounds per square inch, okay? I offered to install one concrete pier for her so that she would understand the difference. So she came outside and she watched us put this pier in the ground. Now, this is going to seem like a joke, but it's not. This is real, okay? 16 feet, brand new stock material. You can still see the markings on the pot from where it came from the factory. See the stamps? Brand new double wall steel pipe driven to bedrock at 16 feet versus a concrete pier. Are you ready for this? Watch. This is a six inch tall, one pound Folgers coffee can. This is how far that concrete pier pushed in the ground before it was to the point of refusal. There's a huge difference between hitting bedrock and point of refusal. The reason that that was at its point of refusal is because it's six inches wide. The steel pier on the, on the, on the largest part is a little over two inches, okay? There's a huge difference between a steel pier and a concrete pier. If you don't trust us, if you don't know us, if you don't believe us, call a structural engineer and ask them. Google them. Ask them whether they should put concrete or steel on your house, underneath your house. If you ever have any questions about foundation repair, give us a call, 437-9031. We don't need to be the company that does the job. At least let us share our experience with you and share with you what we know. We will not come out and sell you things that you don't need. We will not come out and sell you a bill of goods. We will not come out and make it sound like your house is falling down. Give us a call, 437-9031. Thank you.